was the, the awareness for my life today, and I was looking forward to this, this week because I want to be a more centered and more focused and more balanced in my life with the model of the medicine wheel, with the example of the people in the scriptures. It seems that uh, since I went to uh, be among the Blackfoot people of my life, I'm just reflecting more on my life and all the blessings, and this is one of them. So to be singing here with you and praying around this table is a real blessing. And so I'm grateful to God. We began the Building Bridges Project to provide orientation for non-Aboriginal people who are entering into First Nations and Métis ministry. And in the process of carrying out this project, we realized that uh, there's a need to dialogue on the role of First Nation spirituality within the Catholic Church, and especially within the liturgy. And so I'm grateful to God for the, for the blessings in my life and the people that I know. And it strengthens me, and I think it strengthens That's why I decided to wear the Métis sash. Because it's uh, not only beautiful and woven very tightly, but when we weave our lives, when I weave my life tightly with others, I'm a stronger person for it, and happier, more connected. And I think that's true of families, of nations. So if anybody else would like to... My sense of Native spirituality and communities that I've been in, the way I've been taught is a sense of being connected to God, to the Creator, whatever language we use. But the Spirit, the realm of the Spirit is very present. It's not seen, but people are very aware of the spiritual world. And so it affects all aspects of life. We have that too within the Roman tradition, but it's stronger in Aboriginal communities. There's a very strong sense of being connected with the sacred, with the spiritual world and that permeates all parts of our lives. It's something that I have to be able to do is integrate my Catholic faith and my Aboriginal spirituality. I had seen many people who went through being very angry and then many of them walking away from their faith or the church. And I said to myself, there must be some way that I can bring those together in myself and integrate them. A lot of the things that we do in our Native ministry happen spontaneously. In Ottawa, for instance, we have a group of Cree elders. They're women. They've decided to come together on Tuesday mornings, and they pray the rosary, and they, they smudge with uh, sage and sweet grass, and then they do beading. This was just something that began randomly, at the beginning and now has been attracting other women. In Ottawa too, the Kateri Native Ministry has had very successful attempts at organizing weekend retreats for youth. So trying to balance passing on traditional practices and cultural knowledge to the youth and allowing them at the same time to enjoy their own fun together. The Building Bridges Project, sponsored by the Western Assembly of Catholic Bishops, is among the latest initiatives of the Church in Canada as a whole over several decades to encourage the development of the Church's First Nations, Inuit and Métis membership. Some years ago there was a CBC reporter who came to Lac Saint Anne, uh, the gathering of 30,000 First Nations people most of them very Catholic, uh, some traditional and some maybe even other faiths, but uh, most of them Catholic. She was expecting, because of all the residential school background, uh, to find uh, a lot of tension between especially the Oblates, who were the ones mostly um, working and ministering at Lac Saint Anne, and the First Nations people, and she found a love-in. Everybody was getting along and they were, there was a great love for the missionaries and uh, lots of reconciliation, lots of confessions, lots of uh, prayer, lots of healing prayer, uh, blessing of the lake, and so she was quite surprised and she was quite taken and fell in love with the, with the place. Pastoral means tending to, or caring, supporting, protecting, because that's what comes out of the word of shepherd. 
And so when we look at pastoral ministry, that means our relational caring for others. And there's a heart, a relational bonding. So how does the medicine wheel help? The way the pastoral workers have been able to journey in balance and live in that kind of good, right relationship, whole relationship with self, with others, with God and humanity, or with all of creation. Do you mean that's the medicine wheel in pastoral ministry? Key to First Nations pastoral ministry training is the recognition that such care comes from the traditional notion of an elder, a person who is trained and knowledgeable, but who is also chosen by the community. Nobody can come along and say, I'm an elder. It's the people who say, oh, this is our elder, or would you come as our elder? And it's somebody who has earned that respect from the community, who has walked a certain way of life, who follows the teachings, and who, who is spiritual. And the community comes to recognize that. The way I see our tradition people, or they're so simple people, and they're caring people, and uh, sharing. It's really a, a special life. I would want to see this in a church. Elders have a lot to offer because this is the way they live, you know, the spiritual way. Um, they pray, but they also speak to the Creator and, and find the Creator outside in the plants and trees and like in all of creation. And to me, that spirituality is very beautiful, and it, it really enhances, uh, you know, what we learn about Jesus from the scriptures and that. And and I think if we bring that in and we, we share that with the church, then I think it it makes it more beautiful. It really enhances. It deepens the spirituality. <laughs> 